What's up guys, we're back here at Outlaw Garage. Um, Gazza B's car's all done here. As you can see, another mint job on this cage. So it has been a six point. It's pretty similar to my one. And as you can see, we've got um, bash bars made up now. So it's got a jacking point there. Bloody awesome job. And the front one looks tough. She's big, ready to, ready to attack things. Oh, yeah. Stoked with the outcome. Yeah, nah, great job. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's going to be good to finally have a cage and take some passengers for rides and whatnot. Um, feel a lot safer, so hopefully the confidence levels will increase. <laughs> I might be able to tip it into some walls a bit. A bit yeah, higher. I might be to be able to come closer to you too and hit you with me bash bars. So, also got um, another whole set of front and rear bash bars made up for my car. Which is awesome, so I just need to pretty much bolt and weld them on. But as you can see, everything's very similar to mine. They nailed it once again. Great outcome. So now Gazza's got the fun job of doing everything I had to do and paint it and whatnot. But yeah, it's just going to be so handy having this um, jacking point here instead of having to try and reach all the way to the diff as we had to before. But yeah, both stoked on the outcome of our cages. Huge what these guys have done for us at Outlaw Garage. Massive thanks to them. Make sure to go follow their social medias and go subscribe to their YouTube channel. Been um, doing a few videos lately. As you can see in here, um, Ryan's made a start on his R32. Got the tube front going on here. It's looking awesome, all bent up. What else is going on after doing all this? Tube front. Oh, just tube rear, roll cage, and building the motor really. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a slow progress. Is it RB30? 30 Oh yeah. So, it's a TF4Z turbo. Um, it's just gonna be a stock, stock bottom end, just rebuilt new rings, new bearings, uh, some plate clutch. It's just gonna be a really basic setup really. Yeah. Just <laughs> safe and fun. And just playing around with fabrication work really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's looking good though. But obviously quite a bit of work to do. A lot. So yeah, big journey back home and uh, once we get back, unload her and we'll be straight into it hopefully. So we'll update you once we get back. Oh. Alright, so we finally made it home after a huge day once again. Been up since like 4am and just got back, it's like near 9pm now. Big days traveling, so um, yeah, we're gonna unload this thing off the trailer and pop it back in the shed. It's been a while since she's been at home, so gonna have some angry neighbors. Gazabee's about to disturb the kohanga. <laughs> oh boy, this thing is not quiet. We're gonna get dusted up. Cold start. Oh boy, up to. Oh no. Oh boy, no, no, no. Turn it off. Straight back. <laughs> Ball back. 
Vegas. How good. Two caged up cars. Okay, new day, and uh, today we're gonna go for a bit of a spin. Just doing some maneuvering, and the old chaser battery's dead, so just bring my Ute in, and I'm gonna have to try jump it. Right, maiden voyage, and uh, we've got a leak. Looks like the um, frost plug's leaking, or the water pump, but we're gonna try get to, um, to town and try get some seal well, and see if that does a trick for now. And, um, all strapped in. No factory seatbelts, we out. Well, gonna focus on. Oh! <laughs> there you go, the brand new guards. Oh. Lucky I took those spaces off. <laughs> this is pretty crazy on the street with a cage. More harness stuff. And we've got no coolant, so hopefully we don't have a heat because I don't think the temperature gauge works either, so. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What's old Bilbo Ball Begas has got going on here? He's got a fucking palm tree on the back of his truck. So uh, we're currently here at Ripco and uh, just doing some repairs. So we've got some seal well. It's not doing the trick so far, so we're going to try to shove it down the radiator hose. Just. Obviously there's a better solution, but we just want a quick solution for now. Um, yeah, she's fair. Gushing out. Here's all my water that's come out of the radiator. Well, not the radiator. Wherever the leak is, it looks like the back of the thermostat housing. Ah, lovely. Righto, so uh, done a bit of a switcheroo. We're back here now. Just <laughs> went for a bit of a trip to town. Went to Bunnings just to get a snag. Ended up spending a grand later for stuff we needed. <laughs> so we've got a custom tire rack. We've bought a whole lot of shit here. We've got a creeper and a stool, trolley workbench, and for the new jack. Because we needed all the shit, but always complained because we didn't have it and we we're always struggling, so we thought we'd just fork out. And uh, here we are. Will we be able to get tires in there? Oh, shit, you. Yeah. So here's our um, custom tire rack coming along nicely. Oh, five minute install. This is bloody mint. So each of these holds 400 kg, more than enough. Yeah, yeah. While I'm here assembling this, uh, Sorry? We're right. maneuvering some things over here, all our tires, this SR20, and then we're gonna probably put the rack, well we are gonna put the rack right here. Should be a nice placement, keep it out of the way, and then stack all our tires up. Oh, look at them all. And then, gotta somehow get rid of this car, raid all the spare parts of it that we may need, and then dump it somewhere I suppose, unless someone wants it, come take it. Whoa, whoa, it's belting down. <laughs> taking it out already. I've already taken it out. So I got a spare diff, mate. Spare axles, mate. Yep. Yeah, buy it off me. You'll be a ways. Oh boy, that is mint. Yeah. 